And my girls are right with you all. I'd like to hear that. Gubernatorial candidate Chuck Robb's wife, Linda, has put in countless miles campaigning for her husband. But today in Portsmouth, she brought in a little more help from someone who's been there before. Most polls out on the race between Marshall Coleman and Robb have Robb leading. So bringing in the wife of a former president apparently is not a move out of desperation. Why now? Because I can be useful to my young family, I think. Mostly, my role has been to stay home uh, and free Linda uh, so that she can go out and travel uh, all over the state, either by herself or with Chuck. And I can stay with the three little girls. Since Rob is using his wife's family in the campaign, Coleman has attempted to stick the label of the Great Society liberal big spender associated with President Johnson on the Democrats. I think there are those who remember Lyndon with love and have profited from programs that he was able to put forward in the nation. And that will have to be some good fallout. I also know there will be some bad fallout. But Chuck is running now as himself. Since Chuck Robb does not have that highly visible and symbolic support from the White House, a picture of him shaking the president's hand. Obviously, the strategy is to use the other tools at his disposal. Now, whether or not meetings such as this one with Lady Bird Johnson will pay off, we'll know soon enough come election time. In Portsmouth, Don Roberts, The Daily News.